Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Wrestle Talk with Bear and B Dub on this edition of B Dub Starts. Now, to my indication, thanks to some good fans of mine letting me know that my review of WrestleMania 4 was messed up, so I'm going to give it to you guys again. This WrestleMania, March 27th, 1988, uh, the very first WrestleMania of two that was inside the New Jersey Trump Plaza in Atlantic City. Um, this also was the first WrestleMania in which there was no champion going into the match. So, they had a tournament for the belt. Um, I sat back, I watched this. I really enjoyed it. Um, a lot of people didn't. I enjoyed seeing, it was a lot of key highlight matches. One being Greg the Hammer Valentine versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in the first round. Um, Another match, Jake the Snake and Rick Rude. Whenever these two guys get in the ring together, um, it's always amazing. A lot of guys can remember the time uh, Ricky, um, excuse me, uh, Rick Rude put Jake the Snake's wife on his trunks. That's for all you old wrestling fans out there. So, going into the WrestleMania, I thought it was a very good. Uh, I wish, I wish I was older. I was only. A year and a half, so I really wish I was older to remember the build up for this one. Um, Hulk and Andre going at it in the first round, both of them being disqualified, so that um led to the one man gang receiving a bye. Found that very interesting. Uh, and DBRC actually ended up with a bye, both guys who were Macho Man's opponents who would later on win the title. What I thought was amazing was that Macho Man wrestled his butt off this whole night and four matches, four title, uh, four shots at the title and going ahead and winning the title, um, especially going against two guys who had, had rest. I thought that was amazing. But one thing I remember, too, um, at the end, you see Hogan runs out, grabs the belt. Uh, in this WrestleMania, at the end, you had... Macho Man with Hogan and Elizabeth in his corner. And then you had DVRC who had Andre in his corner. So Hogan and Andre were in the main event. They just weren't the, it wasn't for the belt. So I thought that was interesting. Macho Man would go in to hold the belt for a year. And, you, you know, Donald Trump, definitely a good host for this one. It was some other good matches on the card too. Um, Honky Tonk Man and Brutus the Barber Beefcake. You know, this is when Honky Tonk was uh, the, you know, when around his uh, prime he was going around talking about he's the greatest intercontinental champion. Uh, very good on the mic, good and everything. So, uh, that's enough for my review. Like I said, I thought this was a good WrestleMania. Uh, if you haven't got a chance to, make sure you check it out. This is, uh, it was a good follow-up for WrestleMania 3. As I indicated, I thought WrestleMania 2, they kind of took a shift backwards. But WrestleMania 3, I mean, WrestleMania 4 was going, you knew it was going in the right direction. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Be sure to tune in and check out the rest of the reviews of WrestleMania. As I will be then reviewed each and every WrestleMania before Sunday at WrestleMania 27. Thanks, everybody.